Hello, hello again, Martians. Happy end of the year. Um, it took me a little too long to get back to the Chun-Li drawing that I always do every three years because I procrastinated for a year, which is absolutely on par for me. But I, I didn't plan on waiting until the very last day to draw it, but I did. And it is what it is. So you know what? Whatever. It's here now. Anyway, chun -Li. I don't know why. I've said this before. I'm not even sure why chun Lee became my art progression picture, uh, specifically for digital art, because as far as Street Fighter characters go, she's not even my favorite. <laughs> like my favorite is Cammy, but I just love the the pose that she has. I, every time they show Cammy, she's like you know standing there looking tough and militant. But Chun Li, she always looks so cool, and her movements are flowy, you know, because it has something to do with her fighting style. And I just love it. I loved it so much that I was like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely gonna draw it. So I did, and here we are. It's the same nonsense that I've talked about before. If you haven't seen my Chun Li drawing, uh, I think I have both versions of it. No, no, no. I didn't do the first one uh, recorded, but I did do the second one recorded, and so I'll just um. I'll put up a card so you guys can go look at that video. You don't even have to watch the whole thing. But you can just watch a little sneak peek of it because the video is 20 minutes. Like, that was before I got into editing the sea paint, like, quickly because I didn't want them to be too fast. And so I would edit them and they would just still take forever. So I, I let it basically run its course but I wanted to show off the sketching process and so that's why for a while I like got rid of the sketching process because it made the video so long and then recently like I've been making videos for YouTube for a while uh, none of them are any sort of notable and I'm kind of glad that they aren't because it's literally just like a, an art diary a, a digital art diary um, of my drawing so I'm glad they're not like actually good because I wasn't putting any effort into editing them and then sometime I want to say about 2018 I took it a little more serious now I include the sketch process but now I make the video like 1500% speed because I also sketch very slowly like when I listen to music I take my time I enjoy each like line and brush stroke and just like that and the videos can be very long because I'm like enjoying myself instead of having an end goal so that's another reason why most of my art takes like hours and hours to draw because <laughs> it's just me noodling around I'm having fun <laughs> and it's like ah crap I'm, I'm drawing I gotta I gotta not I gotta like actually produce something uh, you can go check out the original from me. I can now I'll put the card up. Uh, the video is super long. I just recently got into making them much faster. So now they look much nicer and I've gotten into better editing. So the videos look much nicer. So please don't judge me on the previous video because that's when I didn't care. And I don't want to say it like that, but I really didn't. And that it is what it is. I didn't care. Uh, but now I do. So, big difference. Big difference in editing. It's the end of the year. That's no surprise to anyone. It's literally the last day. So, like, Happy New Year. Um, I wanted to talk about some art goals that I have for next year. So that I'm kind of looking forward to doing. But I'm not going to force myself to do them. Because every time I make art goals, I look at them. And I'm like, that's ambitious. And then I don't do it. That's also what it is what it is. But next year's goals are kind of not super ambitious like they are for somebody like me and so I wanted to push myself out of my comfort zone so here are some 2023 art goals that I have and I'm super excited about them because I've been thinking about them for a good long time because I want to do some ambitious stuff like I have art goals that I obsess over art because it's literally the thing I love more than most things on the planet and then I go about and not do it because I just I don't I don't do it as often as I want to. And I wonder if that's a me thing or 
that's a like a lot of artist things I don't want to say all artists but just a lot of them like yeah I have this art need I need to be creative I need to put pen to paper or you know whatever and then you don't do it like is that just a me thing I'm, I'm hoping it's not just a me thing it is I'll feel awful 2023 art book. so uh goal number one is to make another large painting <laughs> I know I just kind of jumped right into it but whatever I, I gotta start talking about it's already been like seven minutes and I have not gotten the point of the video which is art goal so anyways goal number one is make another large painting so like the first paint, large painting that I did was airy. Not a video, not anything, just a painting that I really wanted to do. And I love the painting so much. So I could hang it up in my wall, I put a picture. Uh, she's so pretty. I had so much fun with it. it. Took me a little bit to paint it because I was in the middle of a move, but it's one of my favorite things I've ever done. And I want to make another one. Goal number two is to finally finish my freaking Game Grumps animation. Uh, even if it's just an animatic, but I've been working on it since 20, hmm, well, currently it's still 2022. So I've been working on it since last year, 2021, and I have not scratched the surface. I've done the first, I want to say like eight seconds, and the audio that I want to animate is over a minute. <laughs> Our goal number three is not necessarily an art goal like sketching and drawing but it is a creative goal I guess and that is to crochet and knit more I love crocheting and I love knitting I've been doing it for almost 10 years over 10 years no almost 10 years I've been I've been doing it for a very long time and I have not completed any large projects outside of like some tiny stuffed animals and maybe a purse or two. I did make a shirt last year, a little cow print shirt, but it's still, like I want to make more stuff. I've gotten into knitting and crochet vlogs on YouTube. I, I would link some, but I've been watching so many that I don't even know who to begin with. Um, I might talk about that. Maybe I'll add some knitting and crochet stuff up here too. It's creative. I just want to share my creative stuff. I mean, even though this is like a an artist drawing kind of diary, I'm not a creative diary, but I might I might have some knitting and crochet stuff. Who knows? Anyway, I want to get into crocheting and knitting more because I don't do that that often, and I have nothing to show for it for ten years of knowledge just wasted and in the trash. The trash, also known as my brain. Uh, what what goal are we on? Four. Art goal number four. Is that how I've been starting these? I don't care. Uh, it is now. Anyways, I want to experiment with new medium. Uh, I love watercolor, obviously. I do that quite often. I love acrylic paint. I love color pencils and crayons, even though I never done anything with crayons on the channel, but I'll get there. I'll get there. Or like oil pastels. I've never used oil pastels. So those are some things I want to add. I want to try all the, the oil family, like oil pastels, oil paint. Oil paint is scary. I don't want to do it, but I want to because I love oil painting. I especially love the smell. So that sounds weird. <laughs> I do. It's great. It reminds me. It makes me think of an artist whenever I smell oil paint because I grew up with it. So my brother is an oil painter. Living with him as a child, blue paint would just be one of the best things on the planet. And I just, the smell is nostalgic to me. So I always want to try oil painting, but he's like really. I said that weird. I said oil painting. Anyway, because he does oil painting and I want to try oil painting. So, it's scary. I'll get there, but I don't want to, but I will. But I probably won't. It's scary. Anyway, new medium. New medium is the goal. Our goal number five is to sketch more. And I say this every year. I want to say I mean it for next year, but I don't because, you know, I'm a person. And we don't, it's, it's just, it is, you know, whatever. I probably won't do it, but I want to. And so I'll add it to the list. It'll be something that I'll add to every calendar into 
daily to-do list for an entire year. I just bumped the microphone. I'm so sorry. Go. Yes, go. Yes, sketch. Go. Sketch more. Sketch more. I want to sketch more. Say it every year. Don't do it. I'll try. I'll try harder next year. Like way fast, but it's because I've been talking for 14 minutes. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> let's burn through these goals. I just snapped in the microphone. I am abusing this microphone right now. Okay, we're gonna run through the sketch goals. Sketch goals. No, do the art goals so I can start getting these out faster. Okay, sketch more. That's where I left off. What was that? Five, four, six. Share more of my art. I don't have to elaborate on that. You are looking at this on YouTube. Uh, I also want you for sketch goal number seven, take a figure drawing class for, for beginners because I've never done that. And that's where the, the anxious goals come in. I don't want to do that. I especially don't like drawing in public where people can see me because then I clam up and I'm like, oh no, <laughs> you're not going to look at this anymore. I'm done drawing. Y'all enjoy yourselves. <laughs> so I want to do it. I would love to. I've always wanted to take a figure drawing class. But Mm, again, anxiety. Is that seven? Eight. Goal number eight is to try a new kind of art like pottery and weaving and needle felting. Uh, I'm not really sure if they count as mediums or if they're their own art form, but I, I like to think that they're their own art form, so I kind of want to get my hands into them. I've always been interested in pottery and needle felting. I've always wanted to try needle felting, but I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the same thing with everything. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. And you learn, but it literally looks like witchcraft. I don't know what they're doing. What, what goal is this? Nine? I think so. It might be nine. I might be wrong. But if it is or not, I don't care. Anyways, I want to get into digital art even more. <laughs> like, I know that's all I've been doing. But I'm literally just doing it so I can create a video. I, like, I'm not actually sitting down to draw and get accustomed to digital art. I just do it as a means to an end because I have to produce something. And so I'm not actually practicing or getting good with it. And so that's what I want as my goal. And this is probably the, it's not the main one. Not even close. I just want to get more into digital art. And so that's what that is. Well, I don't know what number we're at. Number the next one, I want to draw more landscapes and fewer people. Like, it is no mystery that all I draw are people. I draw a lot of people. Sorry if the microphone just messed up a bit. But all I draw is people. And so I want to get back into drawing landscapes. Now, when I first got into doing art, that's all I did. I did landscapes because I was intimidated to draw people. Like, whenever it gets to like their eyes and stuff. And I... I should have had some early signs that I had some pretty bad anxiety as a kid because I never liked drawing people because I didn't like drawing the eyes because then it's looking back at you and it's like that's weird and it's creepy and I don't like it. So all I did was draw landscapes and like vehicles and stuff like that, like cars and trains. I love drawing trains. And then that stopped when I got comfortable with drawing people and I've never gone back to it and I miss it because I tried to do a landscape. I'm like, what the heck is this? It's like literal, it's actual garbage. And so I want to get back into drawing landscapes and vehicles because I need to get my perspective back. I don't know what happened or why it happened, but it did and it needs to be corrected. And then my final goal is to finish my goddamn fairy. If you've seen them, I shared one, this is the summertime fairy. I don't know how many cards I can add. I think you can only add one. If that's the case, I will add links down below in the description. And I want to finish my fairies because I started those back in 2016, 2017. I have no idea. I'll put the right date up or year up. But I started them many years ago <laughs> and I have yet to finish them. And I want to finish them. I'm tired of having these little blank watercolor cards. I, think I literally only have four left. Four? It's like three or four. It's not... Because the pack comes in 10, and I have less than 5. So it's either 3 or 4, which is how less than 5 works. But, you know, yeah. whatever. Anyway, those are my art goals for the year 2023. And it's a long year, and those are some pretty manageable goals. 
I've been speaking for a good long time. I'm probably going to edit some of this out. I've missed the phone call from my own mother. Oh, no, that was a while ago. Alright, I'll call her back. <laughs> wow, you're just going on a whole ride with me today. Anyways, that's it. That's all I want to talk about. Here's the final result of my chung Lee picture. And here's the progress of her over nine years of drawing the same picture. Uh, and you know what? I think it looks really great. And it's also a huge leg up with the fact that I have an actual like pen tablet to draw with instead of using a, a mouse. And this pen tablet is a new development because I just got it last year. <laughs> I've been drawing all of my digital stuff with a mouse. Control Z is my best friend. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe if you're into that sort of thing. Or you know what, you can even do one better. The comments your 2023 goals, whether they be artistic or not. And I'll just see you all in the next video next year. Happy 2023, happy new year, happy new year's day and all that jazz. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.